Professor Halix's Digital Dental Depository, with support from Philip Sonicare. What are you working on, Professor? You remember my dear old Uncle Halicosis? The dentist. That's right. It's nearly his 100th birthday, and in his honour, I'm creating a pop-up digital dental depository. An oral health help desk, if you like. I'm going to see how many questions all about teeth I can answer against the clock. Give us a hand, will you, Nanobot? Just needs winding up. Here you go. You can ask the questions. OK, first question. Why do we need to clean our teeth? Well, that's easy. The food and drink that you eat encourages germs called bacteria to grow in our mouths and on your teeth. Left to their own devices, this bacteria can form a soft yellow substance on your teeth. This is called plaque, and plaque can damage the surface of your teeth, eating away at the enamel, causing decay and toothache. Not forgetting gum disease. Or bad breath. Strong start, Professor. Next question. How often should you brush your teeth and for how long? You should brush your teeth after breakfast and after supper before you go to bed. Two minutes twice a day. To help make sure you're giving each tooth the best clean possible, most electric toothbrushes have a two minute timer. And you need to remember to clean every part of your teeth. So that's brushing the inside surfaces, the outside surfaces, the chewing surfaces, and not forgetting the gaps between your teeth. It's a good idea to brush at a 45 degree angle to your teeth, starting at the gum line, and then using a gentle circular motion, move your brush up and down each tooth. Well done, you're doing grand. Oh, tricky question this one. True or false? You should rinse your mouth with water after brushing your teeth. Ha! A trick question! You might think you should rinse your mouth out after brushing your teeth, but you shouldn't. It'll only wash away the concentrated fluoride in any remaining toothpaste, reducing its preventative effects. Better hurry, just a couple more to go. Mouthwash or not? Yep, mouthwashes are helpful. Although make sure you use one which is appropriate for your age and choose one with fluoride. It can be a good idea to use mouthwash at a different time of the day to when you brush your teeth. So say use a mouthwash after lunch. But remember, don't eat or drink for 30 minutes after using a fluoride mouthwash or otherwise the benefits are washed away. Flossing, give us the low down. Well, flossing isn't just for dislodging food wedged between your teeth. Regular flossing can help reduce the risk of gum disease and bad breath by removing plaque that forms along the gum line. There are loads of ways to floss. From dental tape and into dental brushes to the very latest technology where you use bursts of air and water or mouthwash to blast between the gaps. And did you know, it's best to floss before brushing your teeth. And finally, for a bonus point, what about toothpicks? Definitely avoid wooden toothpicks. They can splinter and cause damage to your gums. Time's up. Brilliant, Professor. A very respectable score there and lots of dental data for the Digital Dental Depository. <laughs> Professor Halix's Digital Dental Depository with support from Philip Sonicare. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash halux. <laughs>